In this session, we are going to simulate the reverse bias VI characteristics of a normal PN junction diode. So for that, you need to have a voltage source. So you are clicking on the sources toolbar. Take DC voltage source. So you are going to perform the DC analysis of PN junction diode. So click on DC source. Keep it here. Next, in the circuit you are going to have a resistor. So click on this passive tool in the toolbar. Take a resistance. Add it here. By default, let us take it is 1 kilo ohm resistance. Then the next component you need to have a is the diode. So click on the diode tool. So here you can select center diode, LED, etc. For time being, you are taking the normal diode. You are clicking it here. And for drawing the circuit, it, it need to be in a vertical position. So you can click on this rotate icon. You can click on this or you can press a shortcut shift R. So you can click on this rotate. So now it is in the forward bias. So if you are making the connection here, positive will be connected to anode of diode. So it will be in the forward bias. But in this session, we are going to do the reverse bias characteristics of a normal PN junction diode. So rotate it once more. Rotate it once more. So now the diode position is correct. So now we are going to make the connection. So you are going to keep the cursor here. So keep it here. You will be getting the icon for making the connection. Or you can start it from here. So I have started here. Connect it to this point. Similarly, you connect it from here. If you don't want that connection, you can give escape. You need to have a proper connection to make the connection like this. Similarly, you are going to draw the ground. You are going to make the connection between cathode and the negative terminal of the battery. So now, positive terminal of the DC source, you are connecting to the cathode. Negative terminal of the DC source, you are connecting to anode. That means negative to positive positive to negative. So this is known as a reverse bias connection of the normal PN junction diode. Right? Then you can add one ground also. So click on schematic connector. Take ground. Keep it here. Then make the connection as it has told before. Right? So your connection is ready. Then for the diode you need to have one more configuration. So click on diode. Here you can give the diode saturation current, emission coefficient and breakdown voltage. These parameters we will see later. For time being, I am going to configure only the breakdown voltage. What do you mean by breakdown voltage? When the diode is in the reverse bias and when you are increasing the voltage, if the voltage is above certain threshold, the diode will get damaged and it will start conducting. Normally, if you are connecting the diode in reverse bias, it won't conduct. So whatever voltage you are applying in the voltage source side will be will be you will be getting it here. Whatever voltage if you are applying 12 volt here, you will get 12 volt in this side, right? But after the breakdown voltage, let us take the breakdown voltage is say 15 volt. So when you are applying 15 volt here, the diode will get damaged and the current will flow through this. That means the diode will start conducting. It will get damaged and the current will start increasing here. Till that point, the voltage will be, uh, say, if the 15 volt is a breakdown voltage, till that point, you will be getting 15 volt here. After the breakdown voltage is, uh, when you are applying the voltage above breakdown voltage, this will get damaged and the voltage across these two points will drastically reduce. So when you are reducing the voltage here, what does it mean? Current is flowing through this, right? So that is known as a breakdown voltage. For time being, I am giving the say breakdown voltage as say. For time being, I am giving it as say for 
75 volt for time being normally for a normal diode the uh, breakdown voltage is 75 volt so i am giving it as 75 volt so when you are increasing the voltage above 75 volt the diode will break down and it will start conducting right so the current will drastically increase till that point the current will be very low right so in order to give a voltage 75 to this uh, diode so i am going to configure this voltage is also also so dc magnitude by default it will be 12 volt i am changing it to say 100 volt that means this source can give voltage from 0 to 100 volt right now you are going to start the simulation you can start the simulation then you need to take this option split that means both the schematic and the graph you should be able to see right so you can click on this so before that you need to do one more thing what is that you uh, you need to add the probes that is why it is showing connect a probe to show in the graph area so you can stop the simulation because when you are connecting the probe then only you can make the uh, plotting of the graph or take the readings etc so go back to schematic mode click on the analysis and annotation tool take the voltage probe right for time being you are connecting only the positive voltage probe at this point right then you are clicking on this take the current probe you need to keep the current probe here since you are having only one loop whatever current is flowing through the resistance that will that same current will be flowing through the diode right so you can keep the uh, uh, current probe here or here whatever current is flowing through this point will be the same right so you by using this voltage probe you can see the voltage across this uh, diode and by using this current probe you can see the current flowing through this diode now you can give run right then you can click on the split so you can see the circuit as well as graph in the graph also you need to perform some settings what are those settings you need to give the maximum value and minimum value of the graph so for setting that you can click on this top right so in the when you are clicking on this graph you can see so many settings are there right you can scroll it down so first thing is that what all parameters you need to show you need to show the voltage as well as the current right v is this one and the current is this one so voltage and current both you need to show that is why both tick marks are there then you can come down here you need to specify the range of frequency or the time axis and the range of voltage uh, so time axis you can give that uh, for, let us take it will be the by default voltage you are giving from say minimum voltage you need to show is zero maximum volt uh, voltage you need to show is 100 because you are having 100 voltage voltage show source so from 0 to 100 you need to show the voltage current let us take you need to show it from 0 amps to say say maximum say around say 28 milliamps let us take you are taking around 28 milliamps so when you are clicking on this graph click on this graph properties window will be getting you need to configure the minimum and maximum voltage as 0 and 100 current as 0 and 28 milliamps in this example around maximum 28 to 30 milliamps only will be generated now you can click on run right then you need to give the voltage from starting from 0 to 100 so how will you do that you can click on this 100 volt when you are clicking on this 100 volt in the source you will be getting a slider right using this slider using the mouse also you can change the voltage or using the right and left arrows also you can change the voltage so now in the graph you can see that you are applying only zero volt you are applying zero volt current is zero amps right so here you can see that the dotted line represents the current the uh, solid line represents the voltage so voltage is zero current is also zero right no current is flowing through this now i am going to change the slider using my arrow key left hand right arrow key 
so when i am changing this so now i am applying 5 volt at the voltage so voltage has been raised to 5 volt but the current is very small 15 pico amps that means the car the, and the voltage across the diode is 5 volt itself so what does it mean the diode is not conducting because it is reverse bias so whatever voltage you are applying here that you will be getting here and very negligible amount of current is only flowing that is only 15 pico amps that is why the dotted line shows the current that is still in zero because you cannot show that much small voltage here that is why it is showing according to my settings in the graph so voltage is 5 current is you can show when you are clicking on this you when you are keeping the cursor here you can see say in 13.49 seconds 15 pico amps so you can see that right again i am increasing the voltage by using the right arrow key listen here you are increasing the key using the uh, we are increasing the voltage using right arrow so now voltage i have increased to 10 volt but still the current is very low again i am increasing to 15 volt again the current is very low because the diode is not conducting since it is reverse bias so similarly i am keep on increasing the voltage up to my breakdown voltage so now i am applying 75 volt right so till 75 volt the diode is not conducting right it is working fine so since the diode is not conducting current flowing through the circuit will be negligible right when you are increasing the voltage above 75 volt because i have given the breakdown voltage of the diode as 75 volt so when you are increasing the voltage above 75 volt diode will break down and diode will start conducting and the current will flow so the current will increase now when you are applying 75 volt current is negligible now you can see when I am increasing above 75 volt, now I have made a 80 volt, uh, uh, around 80 volt increase, right? I have very negligible voltage I have increased, but even though I have applied 80 volt, at the uh, uh, end of the diode you will be getting only 75, right? Till that 75 volt, what you are applying? Till when you are till you are applying the 75 volt whatever voltage you are applying here will be available here why because the diode is reverse bias it is not conducting when you are giving uh, similarly when you are giving 75 volt again 75 volt you will be getting but after the breakdown voltage when you are increasing it to 80 you can see that still 75 point something only you are getting that means the diode is uh, has been breakdown and it start conducting now there was a sudden rise in current to say 4.5 milliamps right so diode has been breakdown again if you are increasing the voltage uh, say if you are giving 90 volt when you are applying 90 volt still 75 point something only will be getting at the uh, other end right and the current has been increased to 14 milliamps again if you are increasing again the current will start increasing right so from the breakdown voltage if you are increasing the voltage the diode will be in breakdown more current will start flowing right so now it, I, I am applying around 95 volt and current is 19.5 milliamps right so current is very high and the voltage at the diode end is still 75 that means this has been breakdown and now it is conducting so whatever voltage you are not giving here won't be getting here it will be very less since it is conducting so this experience shows how the uh, uh, voltage and current of the pn junction will vary according to the voltage what you are giving in the uh, input side when the diode is in the reverse bias so this shows the reverse bias vi characteristics of a normal pn junction diode thank you